Okay, so let's take a look at another helpful use case for our LLM friends, which is going to be help us optimize our Python code for efficiency. And so this is a pretty simple test here. We're reading in our retail CSV once again. We're going to create a new column called sales tax, which is just our sales column times 0.05. But what I've done here is used a very common mistake, which is use the apply method to then use a lambda function to perform this multiplication. So for example, it's going to look at every value of sales, which is represented by X here, and multiply that by 0.05 to give us a 5% sales tax. So if I run this code, we will end up with a data frame that looks like this. I'm looking at the tail because our first rows don't have sales. We can see our poultry sales here are 438, 5% of 438 is roughly 22. So our code returns the correct output, but is it efficient? Let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT. So here I'm just asking, can you optimize the following code for efficiency? And I've pasted the code we just saw down below. And it says, the code he provided seems to be reading in a CSV file into a pandas data frame, then calculating the sales tax for each sales value in the data frame. Overall, the code is quite efficient. There are a few minor improvements you can make. All right, and let's take a look at what it's done. So it's instructing us to use float64 for sales. So this is already going to happen by default. So this recommendation is a little bit unnecessary. Um, but what I do like is number two, which is vectorize the calculation. Instead of using apply in a Lambda function, you can perform the sales tax calculation directly using vectorized operations in Pandas. This approach eliminates the need for a Python loop and can significantly improve performance, especially for larger data sets. So this absolutely is going to be more efficient than the apply method. So I'm very glad to see this here. We don't really need this first change, but I understand where it's going. But overall, what I was looking for is that it did in fact identify this piece here. So again, if you're quite new to pandas, you might take every suggestion that ChatGPT throws at you, which isn't always going to lead to the most readable or best practice code, but it will give you some great suggestions for doing so. All of this said, the tool that I prefer for this type of calculation is BARD. It's going to give us a lot better information. Let's take a look at BARD. So now I'm going to go ahead and ask Google BARD the same question. Can you optimize the following code for efficiency? And it says, sure, here's an optimized version of the code. And we can immediately see that it implemented the same multiplication that ChatGPT did. And it tells us that this is going to be much faster as well. But what I really love about Google's approach to efficiency is that it's actually performing benchmarks behind the scenes on some toy data sets to perform these tests. And we could of course take this test code and utilize this in our own tests for efficiency as well. But it tells us that our original Lambda approach took 1.23 seconds, while our optimized code took significantly less down to, I think microseconds, which is gonna be about a thousand times faster than the original code. Now this benchmark seems a little bit over optimistic but we can go ahead and ask what it's doing with these comparisons. And here it's showing us what it used. So it says the retail CSV contains just a handful of rows, but it is using some ID as well as a sales column. And if you wanted to, we could ask, did it only have five rows? Cause that might not be enough for a fair comparison. It says, yes, the retail CSV file only had five rows. I use this small data set to make the benchmark results more reproducible. If I had used a larger data set, the benchmark results would have been more noisy and it would have been more difficult to compare the performance of the original and optimized code. It is important to note that the performance of the original and optimized code will scale with the size of the data set. All right, that is fine. But yeah, overall, I think if you are looking to test for efficiency, I would prefer Google Bard over ChatGPT, but they both solved the biggest problem and there may be room for further optimizations as well. So we could ask for more ideas than what it provided. The approach that it's suggested is going to be totally accepted in just about anywhere. But if you had some really, really hardcore operations that required more efficiency, it suggests using numpy.multiply, our column by this, which would be slightly faster, but probably not fast enough to clutter our code with numpy.multiply. But while prepping for this, I really pushed it hard and this it did end up being the most efficient approach. Either way, I think Google Bar does a great job with this efficiency problem. And I would probably lean toward that over ChatGPT when asking for optimizations. Hey there, if you like this video and you wanna learn more, check out our brand new free course, ChatGPT for Data Analytics. 
You can find it at mavenanalytics.io. We'll walk you through our best practices and some of the most interesting use cases for tools like Excel, Google Sheets, Power BI, SQL, and Python. It's a fun little course, and it's a great way to get up to speed in these new AI tools. I hope you'll check it out and let us know what you think.